Hi, Scorpio. It's your girl, Alex. I hope y'all are doing well. I'm in between nail jobs, so forgive my little nubs. Let's see what the universe has for my lovely Scorpio. Yeah, I hope you guys are doing okay. Oh, by the way, this reading is dedicated for every last Scorpio that is sitting in the struggle. Sitting in the struggle just basically means... Alex, I ain't there yet, but I'm trying to work on my shit. God bless you. All right. Let's see what God and, and universe has for Scorpio. Ooh, child. Seven of Wands. Mm hmm. Two of Pentacles. Two of Cups. Well, you need to make a decision. Terror. Terror. Not Tower. Terror. Oh, yeah, look at that. Three of Swords. Nine of Swords. Your thoughts are hurting you. Nine of Pentacles. Oh, there's that air of not good enough. Not feeling worthy, but you are worthy. You are very worthy. Ooh, Ace of Pentacles. Okay. Ooh, Ace of Cups. Sorry, I said Ace of Pentacles. All right, so Seven of Wands. Putting your foot down, setting boundaries. Um, angels are saying some of you are fed up. I could hear somebody saying, I ain't putting up with this shit no more. Two of Pentacles and Two of Cups. This almost kind of feels like you're trying to make a decision to decision on whether or not you want to move towards something that you love. Now I do kind of feel like moving towards something that you love is gonna be groundbreaking mm-hmm mm-hmm um, angels are saying for some of you your focus your your focus number one is on the wrong thing and the the focus or your focus currently is on well, what if I get hurt what if I get stabbed in the back what if this happened what if that Right? It's almost like you're trying to talk yourself out of this shift. Angels are, <laughs> I just drew my attention back over here and I heard my angels say on your behalf, Scorpio, it's almost like you're saying to yourself, well, what's the worst, that, what, what is the worst that could happen if I just kept to myself or if I just stayed in this position? And I can tell you right now, my angels are like, and your ass is not going to grow, no growth which you cannot be an energy source in this known universe without growing, and right? In other words, there's no such thing as pausing or stopping or delaying growth or putting growth on hold. No, good luck with that. I feel like for some of you, you have a decision to make that you're worried about um, and this decision has something to do with money, job, finances. This is not going to resonate with everyone, but I also kind of feel like for some of you, you're stuck between a relationship and a business or financial opportunity. And it kind of feels like if you choose the business opportunity, you're going to hurt the relationship. Or it's almost like if you choose the business opportunity, you're going to hurt yourself, right? It kind of feels like Angels just said the business opportunity is already stressing stressing you out and or hurting you. For some of you, it's also hurting your relationship. But whatever this decision is, you're highly and incredibly doubtful about it. Um, it feels like a lucrative opportunity. The universe is saying, follow your heart. So it's almost like you don't want to make the decision. <laughs> My angel said, qualify that. That just basically means give you a couple of examples. So for some of you, uh, you could get like your dream job, but unfortunately your dream job uh, comes with a boatload of travel, okay? And you and your partnership, your relationship, it's almost like, listen, Beth, I ain't signed up to be your boyfriend knowing that you're gonna be traveling Monday through Friday, right? As in, I'm representing Beth's mate. Right. Um, 
another opportunity or another example could be, yeah, whatever this financial opportunity is, you're stressed or worried because it has direct impacts to your either relationship or your emotional body, your emotional, uh, your emotional self. Seven of Wands to me kind of feels like you trying to do everything up under the sun to delay this decision. All right. Okay. Look at it. Two of Cups. That's the third two. Angels are saying just follow your heart. There's your intuition. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, typically when I see the high priestess, I'm like, okay, Scorpio, you know, follow your intuition. But as soon as I said, follow your heart, my angels kind of energetically confirmed that following your intuition is saying to you, follow your heart, right? So in other words, listening to your intuition, your intuition is going to echo the same words that I just mentioned, which is follow your heart. And angels just also said to me too, for many of you, many of you, many of you, maybe 80% of you. When we said to you, follow your heart, I feel that you felt a sense of relief. And if you have, you can leave me a comment. Yeah, look at this strength. Have the courage to make that connection. Ooh, but you don't want to be disappointed. You don't want to get your heart broken again. Okay, look at all these cups. Psst. Uh, Eight of Pentacles and Ace of Cups. Focus on your heart. Focus on what makes you feel good. Focus on what makes you happy. Yeah, you're afraid of being hurt. Tower with the Five of Cups. Devil with the Three of Swords. You're afraid of getting your heart broken. Oh, Scorparoo. Oh, God. Look at that. Nine of Swords and Nine of Swords. You all up in your head. I'm not even going to say you in your head because you're, you're too worried and stressed out to be up in your head. Seven of Cups, delusion. You don't want to make the wrong decision. Some of you could have multiple options. Um, I'm hearing for some of you, whatever this decision is, the route that you do want to take is a long lost dream, right? It's something that makes you giddy. It makes you feel good. It makes you... Um, what is it? it makes you feel like you're walking on cloud nine page of swords in the ace of cups yeah some of you have been praying and asking the universe to help guide you or yeah to, to basically you've been asking the universe to bring you or tell you what choice to make uh Angels are saying you've been curious about what decision to make. For some of you, you just want the universe to make the decision for you. Very interesting. Very interesting. Oh, I don't want to go left, right, left. Can we go left, right? All right. They said shuffle three times and then you can go left, right. They were wanting me to go this way. Back. I don't want to go that way because it feels weird. So I got one more shuffle. I took four. Yes, I did. Okay. Seven of Pentacles with the Seven of Wands and the Two of Cups. Yeah. You could probably wait a little bit. Wait to see how something materializes. Oh, Page of Cups. Angels are saying you are receiving anonymous support from the energy around you. You could watch a commercial. It could be an, uh, an extensive like Nike commercial saying, just do it, right? You're hearing that message echoed uh, within the universe. You could be listening to a song that's like, you know, um, you know, move forward or go ahead, you know, go get what you want, go get what you desire. I feel like the page of cups is almost like energetic messages that you are hearing um, throughout the universe or throughout your, your lives. 
There it is. Chariot, go, go, go forth. <laughs> go forth. <laughs> I can't. I'm not going to say that. Seven of Cups. I feel like this Seven of Cups is almost like some of you, you... Seven of Cups to me is um, delusion, illusions, daydreaming, right? That's the tarot meeting as well. Excuse me, but the Seven of Cups to me in this reading almost represents fantasizing. I love that. My angels just said, well, there's a thin line between fantasizing and visualizing. I love it. Fantasizing to me is without intent to do anything about it. Visualizing is fantasizing with the intent to doing something about it, right? So fantasizing about being a millionaire, right? Um, that's fantasizing, right? Fantasizing about being a millionaire but never doing anything to be a millionaire, right? That's delusion. Fantasizing to be a millionaire and then taking the steps to be a millionaire, that's visualizing. There we go. Thank you, angels. Mm -hmm. I know it's right. Mm, five, you're struggling. Why are we struggling? Oh, because you don't trust your heart. No, that makes sense, right? Like, you know, you never want to make a decision based on complete emotions or emotions completely, right? But just drag your head along with it and you're fine. In other words, don't make a decision based on emotions alone. Drag in your logic and, 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 and include your logic in the decision, right? So it's almost like right now, if you make this a decision based on this fantasy, you don't trust it. And that makes sense. Angel <laughs> My angels just said, girl, break out or dude, break out that uh, um, or non-binary break out that math book and start doing some formulas as in equating right two plus two well if uh, bring in the logic if i do this then what's going to happen or if i do this this is going to happen well if that happens then i'm going to do this or if that doesn't happen then i'm going to do this that's logic okay so if you are uncertain if you feel like you're on shaky grounds if you feel like you're hella confused it's because you're only making or you're only trying to make this decision based on either emotions only or logic only. You need to bring them both in. Now, here's what's funny. And my angels just brought this to my attention. It's almost like on a good day, right? And you're, you're visualizing or fantasizing and you feel good about it. Then it's almost like, ooh, okay, yeah, I'm going to do it. But on other days when those emotions turn negative and then you start getting in your head, well, that can't work. Well, it didn't work before, so why is it going to work now? Right? It's almost like you have good days and you have bad days. And I know that because, again, you have three twos here. You got the two of cups, two of pentacles, two and the two of cups again. So it's almost like on good days, it makes sense. On other days, nah, not so much. Oh, I just also heard too, when I looked at Beelzebub here, um, I just heard too, for some of you, you could be non-committal or you may have challenges with committing to something. Could be a person, could be a job, could be a business, could be you know, a lifestyle change, right? Yeah, let's all go on that plant-based diet. Sarcasm, right? So <laughs> no offense, no offense. But it's almost like you're afraid to be in locked in. Yeah, and locked in, meaning, meaning committing. I think that's the bulk of your stress and worry. You feel like if you take this step, it's permanent, baby. Ain't nothing permanent in this universe. The only thing that's permanent is change. Three of swords, three of swords, devil. Hmm. Hmm. Now, as soon as I put that second three of swords down, I heard six of swords. Six of swords is, yeah, you have to reconcile your fear. 
some of y'all, you know something, Scorpio, fear has been coming up in your readings quite often, okay? And it's the fear of getting hurt. I feel like there are, you know, several different types of fear, but I think for the top two is the fear of getting hurt the fear or the fear of failure, right? In this case, it feels like the fear of getting hurt. The, the fear of totally committing to something, it not working out, and then you get hurt. I'm going to say this because I do have the cups on the two, two cups here on the table, plus the page of cups. I feel like some of y'all are afraid to go all in emotionally in a relationship. I do. It's a, it, yeah, because Scorpio, I know most people don't trust their hearts, right? Because when you do fall in love, which is the seven of cups, for, Scorp for Scorpio, I almost say Scor Scorpio. <laughs> All right, even I ain't that country. Um, <laughs> Scorpio. Um, for Scorpio, falling in love is its own death process. Death meaning, what is death to a Scorpio? A Scorpio who's not in control. Mm-hmm. 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 So for some of you, you're afraid to completely let go emotionally because you are you remember the last time you did that, you got hurt. And you're like, ah, ain't nobody doing that shit again, Alex. Mm-mm. I mean, your angels are on point, but no. Mm-mm but you're stressed and worried. It's almost like you're afraid to trust a situation, a person, a situation. I get it. I get it. There's tradition. There's the commitment. Let me flip this around a little bit, right? In other words, it's not love centric, right? This reading doesn't have to be about love or money or an opportunity, but there is a commitment ahead of you that you are strongly resisting. And you're resisting connecting, hence commitment. Seven of Pentacles. Um, you want more evidence and proof that the commitment is not going to fail. Angels just also said, too, you're walking into the unknown. You don't like it. You want to do over. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, Angels just drew my attention to the track chariot. I feel like Scorpio, you gonna have to roll the dice. Eight of Swords. Yeah, you're you're stuck in your head about a past situation. It's almost like you're focusing on the wrong thing, right? It's almost like you're focusing on well, what if it fails? <laughs> and angels are like, God damn it, what if it doesn't? <laughs> Scorpio's like, yeah, but what if it fails? <laughs> Mm, mm. I'm going to say something to you and this is coming from my angels, right? Um, so forgive me for the bluntness. I heard somebody say, like intuitively just now, I heard somebody say, yeah, because every time I fall, I'm the one who has to pick me back up. Angels are saying, no matter how many times you fall, you should always pick yourself back up, okay? Because again, in this known universe, you can't just stay down, right? And I say that respectfully. I, I, I really, really say that with the utmost respect for you, Scorpio. Um, Angel said deadlocked situation. Sword, 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 cup, 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 one pinnacle, pinnacle, cup, major, 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 mm hmm, mm hmm, cup, 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 mm hmm, pinnacle, mm hmm, yeah, you're, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm, 
overthinking between your head and your heart. Okay. 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 Angels just said too, for some of you, you go back and forth between your head and your heart, which is good, right? But it's almost like you don't know which one to trust. Universe is saying, follow your heart, take your head. I'm going to give you an example of that, by the way. Um, oh, beautiful. I love this example. My angels are saying your heart may say, oh, I would love to get a dog, right? And yeah, it's like, cool. Yeah. For those of you who are dog lovers, I am a huge dog lover. And if you don't, if you're not, you know, insert the dog for a car or moving or getting a house or another apartment, right? Just insert whatever. And you may say to yourself, oh God, I would love to get another dog. Okay. So that's kind of quote unquote following your heart. You haven't made the decision yet, but you're following your heart. Cause when you think about the getting a doggy, your heart, you know, muscle all increases and you feel all happy and giddy and good. Right. I know the name of a pick out and I know what kind of dog, right? You're, you're igniting your heart right now. Here's where you bring your head into the equation. Well, you know what? I work 10 hours a day. What, the, what is that going to mean to the dog? Or you know what? That new car, the car note is going to be $800 a month. I can only afford 300, right? That's where angels are coming in and saying, do the math, the logic. If I get a dog, right? And I work a lot. You know, what's going to happen when I work, you know, 12 hours and I got to come home and then walk a dog? Ooh, what's that going to look like? Okay. The, or again, you know, I, I want the, you know, new Mercedes <laughs> or BMW, right? But I only made 300, 300, I can only afford an extra $300 and I haven't even factored in insur uh, auto insurance, right? That's how you make a decision based on your heart and your head. They both have to be satisfied, okay? Now, if you got a dog and you don't work at all because you got your, sh your life in order, Oh, baby. Oh, get, get the dog. And can I afford it? And will my apartment or can I keep it in my house? And who, if I decide to go on a vacation, could I take him a little doggy with me? Right? Do it. Cause head and heart in that scenario match. Okay. If I get the car, you know, okay. The car knows going to be 800. I have an additional 1500 a month I can spare. So even if the car is 800 and the insurance is an additional 300, that's 1100. I got $400 still to make some minor upgrades. Okay. That's bringing your head and heart together. Okay. Right now, again, you open this reading with the seven of wands. You're not budging. You don't know what to do. You're stuck. Waiting is not going to help you right? It's, it's the incorporation of how the decision is going to affect you emotionally, mentally, financially, progressively, right? Just weigh in balance, weigh in balance, darling boo-boos. <laughs> My angels just said, now apply that to your ass. If you leave that job, what is that going to mean? Hmm. <laughs> My angels, I love y'all. I do. I do, I do, I do, I do. All right, what we got? The end of a tough cycle approaches. There we go. The end of a tough cycle approaches. Who is that? A uh, full moon in Capricorn. Okay. That's our run. Oh, Capricorn is here. Capricorn. I got all earth signs. Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Mm-hmm. Capricorn is Saturn. Virgo is Mercurian. And Taurus is Venus. Okay. Pers a personal issue reaches resolution. I love it. 
So ending resolution. Okay, okay. I see something is coming to an end. Ooh, a new start is beginning. You might have been in this, this deadlocked energy for some time. You open the reading with the Seven of Wands. You close it with the Hermit. You have been overthinking and curious about how to get out of this pickle for some time, Scorpio. Don't let your past hold you back. All right, skedaddle. You's got to move forward, darling sugar. Your commitment is being tested. Yeah, yeah, Scorpio. And I'm going to close out with this little, little, little message. Is your commitment towards things or people or growth and evolution? I love you. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Bye.